Switching gears, a former agent for models turned filmmaker is now here in the Bahamas. She's originally from Canada, shooting a television series. We send it over to our Antoinette Smith, who is here in studio with more on this story. Well, if you're familiar with movies like Power Rangers and Home Alone, you might want to listen up for this one because our next guest has been a film agent for them all. Joining us in studio is Pat Draws, a big name international film scout who's bringing her talents to locals with a Bahamian inspired series called The Magic of the Chicharney. And also joining us is Philip Cooper, an actor on that series who portrays a character named Philip. Thank you both for joining us. <laughs> Thank you for having us. So Pat, can you can you tell us a little bit about this series we were talking earlier? You said it's sort of like a Bahamian inspired fairy tale. It is exactly that. It is based on Bahamian and uh, Caribbean folklore and fairy tales. Are they real? They're not just stories. They are real. They come from a place. They come from a place in our um, ensemble cast of uh, children and teens meet the legendary Chikchani and she grants them the magic of sight. And what they can see is these folklore and fairy tale characters are living amongst the people on the island and they need to save the day every episode. So tell us um, why you thought this story had to be told. Uh, it's sort of inspired by your first ever visit to Ex the Bahamas. Exactly. So. Um, CMM models here in Bahamas, <laughs> happy anniversary. It's their happy year um, reopening today. I had known um, the agents of Stephanie Nihon and I had known Gerard in the 90s and we reconnected on Instagram of all places. Mm -hmm. And we started speaking about, I was a, a model agent for 20 years and Stephanie and I were speaking about model placement and I said, listen, I'm a television and film agent now and if there's anyone interested in acting, I, I would love to come. And so she arranged for me to come to the Bahamas in June to teach some acting seminars. In these wonderful acting seminars, I met Philip and I met the entire cast of The Magic of the Chick Charney. And I was absolutely blown away, literally blown away by the natural talent of so many of these Bahamians. And I left that day and I had just been kind of reading up on folklore and I thought, I want to do a series. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I want to film a series here in the Bahamas. And I wrote uh, Magic of the Chick Charney uh, in Quickly. June <laughs> and I have a wonderful um, executive producers here with Stephanie Nihon and Amanda Ferguson. Um, since I'm in Canada, uh, our entire production team is local out of the uh, 17 actors we have. All are local but two. Um, many of the actors on the series have never um, had any acting experience yes. before, but they have natural talent. So with the actors like Philip and the other two actors who play parents in the series and the two Canadians who are in the series as well, they really helped to mentor mm -hmm. and um, teach. And it was a beautiful experience. You could see it all happening. and the wonderful talent of all of these actors. And Philip, Hi. he's one of the local actors in the series. So tell <laughs> us uh, what that was like for you, sort of like working on set here in the Bahamas. Well, it's always been a dream. Um, and thank you very, very much, Pat, um, and also Stephanie and CMM as well for giving me this opportunity. Um, being on set was like a, a completely different experience. The cameras are rolling, the, the camera crew is there and you have to rehearse these lines and express these lines in the way that you would naturally do it. So it can come across as, you know, as pure, as natural as possible. And um, that was an experience. I acted as a father. I'm not a father, <laughs> but not yet. But hey, guess what? It was a wonderful experience. I just, I just can't even express it enough. Tell us, uh, tell us a little bit more about your character, Philip, <clears throat> and um, sort of how the pure behaviorness is conveyed in okay. the film? Well, you know, we all knew, we all know about the, the legend of the Chick Charney. And um, I grew up, my grandmother actually grew up telling me about the legend of the Chick Charney. And so I'm passing this information on to my son in the movie. And I'm speaking to him in a very, very comforting manner as to what I know about the legends, actually, um, folklore in the Bahamas. And so that was, that was, that was the gist of my character right there. And every episode will have Philip's character 
in a flashback scene. So Ryan is in a teenager now, but when he sees the folklore come to life, he flashes back to his father yeah. sitting with him at bedtime and they're, they're cuddling and they're talking about all the various people and creatures and magical uh -huh. beings that they're going to meet throughout the series. <laughs> so you obviously tell me the series comes with sort of like a little plot twist that you can't tell me about uh, yet. Yeah, 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 but <laughs> <laughs> for now, can you tell us about the local places that you may have seen this movie of filming at? Well, we filmed at Breeze, uh, Breeze's Resort and Spa uh -huh. on the beach. We filmed T at a wonderful <laughs> place I love, the Tiki bikini Hut, hut the Tiki right. Bikini <laughs> Hut. I had been there when I was here in June, and Byron, who owns it, was just such an amazing, wonderful, welcoming, loving person. Uh -huh. <laughs> I wanted to shoot there and on that beach, and we also shot at um, the Clifton National, Pier. Yeah, the National Heritage Park. Yes. Beautiful yeah. place. Magical place. Yeah. We will be shooting there again. Okay, sure. so obviously um, the the series, the pilot, has finished up filming last week. Yes. And so what's the process now? The process now is um, having some local musicians create some music that we are going to use in the series, theme songs, etc. Uh, all the post-production editing, uh, we will be doing a one-minute, three-minute, and the full pilot. Um, and... December, uh, we're going to take off because everybody's in vacation mode. Right. Mm -hmm. So beginning of January is when um, we start sending our uh, pilot to the networks. So as an agent of 39 and a half years, I've made so many connections through casting directors and, and networks from Disney to all the American, all the Canadian. There are hundreds of cable networks and streaming mm -hmm. service networks. And Disney launches their streaming service network uh, tomorrow, so um, okay. we've got plan A, B, or C, and it this, will be filming. This sounds amazing. Yeah. So obviously you can check out for it in a few months. For now, you can follow them on social media at The Magic of the Chick Charney. That's all for now. You heard it for here first. Back to you in the studio, Lloyd. Come on and join. Yeah.